have been to many schools in different parts of the, the, the country, particularly in 12 counties have conducted seminars like I'm conducting here today. And uh, here in Machakos County, I've been to quite a number of schools. If I can remember them, the first one was Matogoro Boys in May 2018. And again, I was invited in 2022, June, for the classes of Form 3 and Form 4. Once they had noticed the performance of the class of 2018. Now, the next one was Mashakos Girls. Uh, class of Form 4, March 2019. The next, uh, the next time was February 2020, just before COVID. Uh, the next school was Matoguro Girls. Actually, the same day with Machakos Girls for the second time. Now, the next school, Masi Boys High School. You all know Masi Boys High School, isn't it? Yes. It's just here in the neighborhood, isn't it? Yes. I have been there twice, February 2020, uh, for the class of Form 4, and then November 2021 for the whole school. Uh, that is not the, the end. I have been to Father Hidden Girls. You know Father Hidden Girls? It's in Tala. Uh, I was there in May 2021. And the next school was Pani Girls in June 2022. Class of Form 4. And the next one was Kathiani Girls High School, October 2022. And today I'm here in Boli High School. Now, I want you to think about why have these schools invited me again and again, some of them two times. Why they invite me is something that is beneficial to you all. Are we together? Yes. So listen to me very carefully uh, so that you can also benefit like these schools. Uh, I, Mwangi Wanjombe is a professional trainer on strategy, performance management, shape management, and also leadership. And as he trained in organizations and also wrote in the media, the United Nations, standard uh, business daily about the same areas of expertise uh, and I was training with authority from the National Industrial Training Authority in the Ministry of uh, Labor uh, I, real, I noticed a problem more than 80% of Kenyans who are employed are dispassionate about what they do and as I continued writing, I continued doing research also. And when I was writing a column in the small and, med small and medium enterprise today magazine, a column on strategy for uh, the magazine every month since between 2013 and 2018, I noticed another problem. More than 50% of Kenyan school graduates are unemployable. Unajua hivo? Unajua hiyo? Uh, not unemployed. They are unemployable. And I trace the problem with the empowerment that they experience in the school system. And now for me to solve those two problems, I decided to do it in a well thought out way. And I wrote a book titled Career Dynamics in the 21st Century. And that book, the sub theme is Unleashing the Human Performance Potential. And basically, it's about moving Kenyans from 20th century thinking to 21st century thinking, both the young and the old. And that book was used for architecture 
of the competency-based curriculum by KICD, and it was approved for circulation in schools in Kenya uh, from 2016. Now, as people continued reading the books, they were always asking me where is the next series, where is the next series, and I wrote another one titled Living Beyond Survival. Sapping no more joy in life. Uh, your principal has read these two books because he bought copies for himself some time ago, and that is why he had the confidence of inviting me to come and conduct a seminar in this school. See, I pick you my computer, Babari. Now, the seminar today is titled Creating the Future Today. Why? You don't have to wait until you finish school so that you can determine how your future will be. As you continue with your lessons today and in the future, in this school, you are supposed to be knowing your direction in life. And I'm going to ensure that that happens for you or for every student in this school from today henceforth. Now, uh, by the way, I'm going to take you through some snippets of how CPC is working. Are we together? So that those who are capable can align themselves with the way, in the same way the CPC is being aligned. Are we together? The session today, what are we going to learn? The first one, uh, align with the 21st century mentalities or mindsets as learning continues. Please put this in your notes very carefully. The next one, so current and future empowerment challenges. Is it clear? So current and future empowerment challenges. Two copa moja. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. Good. Now, the third one, align studies with personal, natural orientations. We are all different. You are not like your mother. You are not like your father. You are not like your brother. You are not like your sister. You are genetically different. Are we together? And that is what we are going to determine today, how different we are. Because there's a chapter in one of the books which says we are the same yet different. Hi. Acquire strategic, strategic direction in studies and life outside school. Are we together? Acquire strategic direction or the right focus. Now, carefully align studies with eventual careers. Carefully align studies with eventual careers. Finally, safely manage strength, stress associated with challenged attitudes and focus. These are serious challenges in the school system based on research, and I can tell you today we are going to be able to solve them for majority of you. In order to work smart in the 21st century, when you are doing your studies, always start with the subject that you are very good at. Okay? Spend some three minutes so that you can create some space for the subjects that are difficult for you. Now, I have done thorough research on this, and in the first book titled Career Dynamics, there's a young man called Alan. Alan, I came to know about him in 2016. And 2016, the parents were very worried because he only loved drawing and nothing else. And he was in form two. After drawing, he was just sleeping. So parents were worried about how is he going to finish his studies. And I told them, read this book, and once you read, there is one thing that I want you to be doing. Encourage your son to be drawing every day. But he draws only for 15 minutes 
and then you encourage him to go into other areas of study. And soon, uh, the boy ended up liking physics, and he went on liking other subjects, slowly, slowly. And eventually, when he did his KCSE, uh, he acquired a great C. Instead of acquiring an A in drawing, and he, in all others, was able to average his math. And the last time I asked about it, uh, Alan was pursuing uh, a diploma in interior design. Interior design belongs to which orientation? Right or left side of the brain? Right. Good. So, uh, Alan is now passionately pursuing his career in interior design, which has been in him all throughout the day he was in school. Now, uh, Good. Are we going to create create digit individuals from this school to from today's course? Yes. When the day is Now Look at these great people. This one is called Sergeant Yusuf K. Dawood. He was writing a column on, in the uh, Sergeant newspaper, which he wrote for 50 good years. He died last year at 94 years, while in the UK, but he was still writing that column until his last days. Just before he died, he was still writing the column. What does that mean? The moment you align yourself with your natural orientation, just like I have explained here, then the marketplace is waiting for you to serve it for all your life. Are we together? Do go for more time. How many of you are swimmers? How many of you are swimmers? Wow. Wow, when you're swimming, enjoyable. When you are swimming along the tide, you are against the tide. Along the tide, you are against the tide. Along the tide. Along the tide. Yes. When you swim against the, the tide, you are punishing yourself. True or not true? True. In the same way, if you don't align yourself with your natural orientation, the way we have discussed today, ladies and gentlemen, of Buni High School, you'll be punishing yourself. And you have no reason to do that from today henceforth. And once you align yourself properly, you will be like this chief when his campus is functional. You'll be following your campus. If the campus of this chief is destroyed, what happens? Is it able to move? If you move round and round until eventually it sinks, eh? when you don't follow your campus, you have uh, that. Uh, you can easily find yourself sinking just like this chief because of not following your natural orientation. Now, Expected achievements once you follow your natural orientations of students of Boone High School are likely to become great individuals. Great individuals create great teams. Great teams create great organizations. Great organizations create a great country or great countries. And here, great individuals are deserving great rewards. Is that going to happen today from Buhuni High School? Yes. Are you going to become great individuals? Yes. Are, we, are you going to create the future from today and forth? Yes. 
based on what you have planned? Yes. If that is going to happen, I will leave this place a very satisfied person and I'm very thankful, very thankful as I read my case now for the week. Thank you so, so much.